wind crystal and wind blasting wind crystal and wind blasting today we are going to study isolation and estimation of wind crystal and wind blasting now wind crystal and wind blasting it is a alkaloidal phyto constituent it is a secondary metabolite which is come in a class of alkaloid so it is a indole alkaloid it is a type of chemical classification of wind crystal and wind blasting indole alkaloid means wind crystal and wind blasting in its chemical structure contain indole ring and because of this indole ring it is come in a chemical classification of indole alkaloid so indole alkaloid this is a structure of wind crystal and wind blasting and this is a indole ring present in wind crystal and wind blasting because of this indole ring it is come in a chemical classification of alkaloid in which indole alkaloid biological source it is obtained from plant cathrathus roseus it is a present in a plant vinca and the biological source of vinca is cathrathus roseus belonging to family apocynaceae so wind crystal and wind blasting they are the alkaloid present in vinca plant and biological source are obtained from the plant cathrathus roseus belonging to family apocynaceae uses now uses of first we see the uses of wind blasting wind blasting it is a anti tumor alkaloid it is used in a cancer so wind blasting it is anti tumor alkaloid used in a treatment of hodgkin's disease hodgkin disease it is a type of cancer arise in lymphatic systems and because of that it affect the immune system of our body wind crystal it is a cytotoxic compound which is used in treatment of leukemia in children it is a type of cancer which is present in children and in this leukemia cancer it is wind crystal is used it is also used in a acute hemolytic leukemia and other type of sarcomas so sarcoma means the cancer which produce in tissues so other type of sarcomas now this is a chemical structure of wind crystal and wind blasting both have a similar structure only one group is different between wind crystal and wind blasting so here it is a indole ring so it is come in a indole type of alkaloid and difference is here r if r is methyl group it is wind blasting and if r it is formyl group it is wind crystal so in presence of r if r is methyl group then it is a wind blasting if r it is a formyl group present in place of r it is wind crystal they are yellow color soluble in alcohol and benzene because alcohol alkaloids have a solubility in alcohol and benzene the sweet salt soluble in water and salt is soluble in alcohol because sulfate salt the salt as we know alkaloid when it is converted into the salt form the salt form of alkaloids are soluble in water because salts are easily soluble in water so sulfate salt solution are soluble in water and slightly soluble in alcohol so sulfate salt is soluble in water and slightly soluble in alcohol in pure form both are unstable when they are in a pure form they are unstable hydroscopic means absorb moisture from the atmosphere and highly toxic compound so when it is in a pure form they are highly toxic then they are hydroscopic they absorb moisture from the atmosphere and they are unstable so this is about the wind crystal and wind blasting now moving on our next topic which is isolation of wind crystal and wind blasting for isolation we take vinca leaves dry the leaves and convert into the powder form so we take the powdered dry vinca leaves and extract with this solvent aqueous 
alcoholic acetic acid solution aqueous means we take water alcoholic means either we take methanol or we take ethanol acetic acid solution but the ratio is 191 1 ml water 9 ml alcohol and 1 ml acetic acid solution mixture we use to extract the vinca powder now we take this mixture of the solution by filter so we take the extract by the filtration and concentrate that extract and dry that extract so we get residue we take that extract residue because we dry the residue and because of dry it converted into the powder form so we take that residue and further extract with 2% hydrochloric acid so residue extract with 2% hydrochloric acid as a basic principle of alkaloid alkaloid are present in plant base form and when we add hcl means any acidic solution they are converted in to the salt form so our alkaloids are converted into the salt form in presence of hcl and come into the hcl solution now first step which is we adjust the ph of that hcl extract for so we adjust the ph4 and take that solution after adjusting ph4 into separating funnel and extract with benzene okay so first step we take the hcl extract adjust the ph4 by using sodium hydroxide so by the sodium hydroxide we adjust the ph4 and because of we use base the salt form of alkaloid converted into the base form and come into the benzene layer so we extract with benzene so our alkaloids come into the benzene layer we take that benzene layer now further that residue containing extract means the hcl which ph is 4 now we make it ph 7 by using nmh sodium hydroxide so first step we make ph 4 in second step we make ph 7 and after make ph7 we take the solution in separating funnel and then extract with benzene so remaining salt form of alkaloid of vin cysteine and vin blastine which is converted into the base form and come into the benzene layer so after extract with benzene we take the benzene layer so we have a two benzene layer we mix both benzene layer so here we by the first method we uh, we get the benzene and by the second procedure we get the benzene we combine both the benzene solution then concentrate that benzene extract dry that benzene extract and dissolve in benzene methylene chloride solution which is the ratio is 65 35 65 and we take benzene and 35 we take methylene chloride now this solution we subjected in a chromatography we use here coulomb chromatographic method for isolation of vin cysteine and vin blastine so in coulomb chromatographic method we use the coulomb in which we use neutral alumina as a stationary phase and mobile phase means iluon we are using benzene methylene chloride and injected our this extract sample so in our first fraction we get vin blasting fraction vin blasting fraction we collected eluted out first we collect that vin blasting fraction then evaporate to dryness add sulfuric acid alcoholic sulfuric acid or aqueous sulfuric acid so vin blasting converted into the salt form which is a vin blasting sulfate and we recrystallize make it pure form by using alcohol then second fraction at ph 4.9 to 5.9 we get vin cysteine fraction we collect vin cysteine fraction dry concentrate and add in that 
एक्वियस और अल्कोहलिक सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एक्वियस और अल्कोहलिक सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड विन क्रिस्टीन कन्वर्टेड इन टू दी सोल्ड फॉर्म बिन क्रिस्टीन सल्फेट This with crystalline sulfate, which is recrystallized or crystallized by using alcohol, so at the end we get pure form of vin crystine. So by this isolation method, we isolate vin crystine and vin glastine in a sulfate salt form by Coulomb chromatographic method. So this is a whole isolation of vin crystine and vin glastine in which we use first mixture. Separate out our alkaloids, then convert it into the salt form. Then, by the adjusting pH, we make it further into the base form and extract with the benzene. Then, remove this benzene layer and the residue which is solubilized in a benzene methylene chloride, which is a mobile phase solution in which we dissolve our residues and then subject it in a Coulomb chromatography. And by the Coulomb chromatography. We easily fractionated, eluted our wind crystalline and wind glassing. Now moving on our next topic, which is estimation of wind crystalline and wind glassing. Estimation of wind crystalline and wind glassing by the method TLC, thin layer chromatographic method. In thin layer chromatographic method, we use stationary phase silica gel G. Test solution we prepare. We take the test sample 0.1 mg and add 0.1 ml 25 percent H2 means water in methanol. Standard solution we prepare same as test solution, but we, here we take standard sample. So we take standard 0.1 mg and dissolve in 0.1 ml of 25 percent water in methanol. Mobile phase we use. Which is acetonitrile benzene. The ratio is 30-70. So we take acetonitrile 30 ml, benzene 70 ml. And detection we detect wind crystalline and wind blasting estimated by the reagent ceric ammonium sulfate in 85% phosphoric acid solution. By the thin layer chromatography, we easily estimated wind crystalline and wind blasting. And these are the Stationary phase, test solution, standard solution, mobile phase, and detected solution we use in thin layer chromatography in estimation of wind crystalline and wind blasting.